Hey everyone, it's Tori here and we are back with Cursed. I don't know if this is going to be the last part, it depends how lost I get. This might end up being another extra half an hour, I don't know. Let's just get into this and see how it goes. We got some eyeballs in the last episode, I'm guessing that they go for on this guy. There we go. The lava has hardened, I need to find a way to chill it. Oh, oh, hang on. Don't we have a frost potion? Don't we have a frost potion? I could have sworn we did. Or did we use it? No, we used it, didn't we? An ancient helmet. How surprising that it's so well thingied. I wonder whose armour this is, and why was it left here in the dungeon? Yes, I'm very curious how this is going to end up. Oh, I accidentally clicked the hint button, apparently. Uh, okay, so we need to harden the lava. The best way to do that would get, be to get some water, surely. Can we get water from here? The bucket is completely rotten and it's not worth trying to repair it. It's in such bad condition that it's not useful at all. Not at all? Not for anything. Oh, there we go. We can use the helm. <laughs> you know when you just accidentally work out what to do? It's like, oh, okay. Right, let's go cool our lava. Helmet filled with water. I didn't even realise that was the right thing to click, but at least I didn't have to spend three years trying to work it out. That makes me happy. All right, let's splash this guy. Is that another piece of the amulet we need? Break it. Oh, break it with the pickaxe. Yeah, put your back into it, woman. A part of the four element el amulet. Uh, can't quite see where it goes. Oh, it was there. Cool. Oh, it's getting bigger. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Is that it done? Oh, that's another one gone. We only have two more left. Oh, and now we can continue on. Cool, man. This is such a cool game. I'm so glad I played this because even though I asked Achievement Unlocked Fire Lord, even though I asked the developers for the key, I was a bit apprehensive to play because it's meant to be like, you know, it's a horror point and click and there are horror elements and scary things. And I don't like that stuff normally. But this is really cool. It does it tastefully. It's tasteful horror. It's not boo in your face or anything like that so I'm quite happy about that so thank you developers for letting me have this key it's awesome definitely one of the best point and click horror games I've played in a long time can we crowbar anything here? even if I do get lost as well <laughs> what do I do here? <laughs> meow because snakes go meow meow <laughs> you look interesting do you want a crowbar? <laughs> No, wait. I, uh, I didn't want to click him again. He doesn't look very friendly, does he? What is he saying? Not he's saying anything. I cannot continue straight and t ahead until I find a way to get rid of this snake. Knife him! Okay, it's not knifing him. Alright, calm down. If you're going to do that every time I try and click an item on you, God. What about here? Rest in peace. I have to unscrew the screws in the corners to take off the towel. Sorry if you saw that squeaky door. Oi. Can we use the crowbar? No. Let's use the feather duster. That'll help. I can't unscrew these until I find something to unscrew them with. The inscriptions on, on the crosses are almost rubbed off. I can't figure out any of the letters. Sorry, I'm like really struggling to talk at the moment. Like blah, 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 blah. That's a creepy tree. Oh, there's an arrow. Feather duster. <laughs> okay, no. Um, crowbar? No? Axe. Oh, there we go. That did something. Alright. What's this, then? Uh, Okay, surely I can axe this, too. Right, I need a hint. Okay, it's not here, then. And it's not there. Okay, so it must be here. Oh, hello. What? Oh, feather dust away the cobwebs. Really? You, you couldn't do that with your hands? No! You needed a feather duster that was conveniently placed at a grave. Okay. Fine. Amulet. And that seems to be all I can use here. Oh no, hang on. No. Crowbar. Gotta keep fucking trying it. One day my crowbar will be useful. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Can we put the amulet here? Yes, we can. What is that? I just bash my hand. Oh. Is that a well? 
Oh god, please don't. He's gonna jump me. Hello. Hello. Do you want a crowbar? <laughs> Do you want a sickle? You've got a problem, you. See, I saw this screenshot, or what, I think it was a screenshot on the Steam store, and I kept thinking, oh, that, that skeleton's gonna jump scare me, I know, it. I'm waiting for that in the game, but no, he's just like, hey, give me that work, it's mine. So that's fine. Sickle. No. Sickle, sickle, sickle. Can we use that on the snake? Apparently not. Okay. Alright, that's a very long animation to have to keep seeing. Must be something else here. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm trying to use a sickle on everything I see, but... When you get stuck, it's your only solution. Okay, I need a hint again, I'm stuck. Okay. What have I missed? Oh, okay. So it wasn't the axe. I could have used the axe on those twigs, surely. Okay, that one is probably the most far-fetched in the game so far. Oh, there's another fire thing. Oh, crowbar. I don't mind things being difficult to work out, but when they're a bit like an item that you wouldn't even consider using on something. A glove. It's very thick and cannot be pierced by thorns. Ooh. Pair of pliers. What do I do with this? Oh, not the glove. No? Okay, there's nothing there I can use by the looks of it. God damn it. Pliers. Why does everything bad always happen to her? This book describes the rate of repose for the living dead. Into the center of a pentagram, you must place a scorpion, a fresh flower, and a chalice made of a human skull that has been filled with the blood of an arboreal goblin. Well, that is a very interesting shopping list, I have to say. A piece from an old fresco with the image of a face on it. I mean, where am I going to find a goblin? Okay, now I can push these in, can't I? Or do I have to turn it? Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, that's really clever, actually. I like that. Just keep clicking them all until it works. There we go. Oh, hang on. The pieces match up, idiot. There we go. Is that one there? Seems to be. It's Medusa. It's a Gorgon. Oh, look, we, we can do special stuff. Come on, jump me. I'm not scared. Oh. Piece of fresco. Left to find nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Yes, three, two, one. And that one. I put them... Ah, oh, there we go. Sweet. It's an easy puzzle. All right, calm down. Aha! I thought we'd have to go to the skeleton dude and like take his head. Like, can I borrow that, please? Can we crowbar that? Oh, there we go. Fish. Where have I seen a fish? I haven't seen a fish. Can we take this one? Crowbar. Pliers. I need a hint. Okay. Okay, so we're done here. The skull of an unknown animal. This place must have been used for performing rituals. Okay. Oh, hang on. What's this? Scorpion. The scorpion is just what I need to cast a spell against the walking dead. Oh, and that's the fish. We put that back in there. I'm sure it wasn't glowing before. It's the agreement just an Aldridge made with the demon. According to this agreement, the demon is obliged to bring Aldridge's deceased wife back to him as soon as he has modified the gates. Aldridge originally designed these gates in such a manner that only one creature can walk through them, and only once. 
If the gates are modified as the demon has set forth in the agreement, these restrictions shall be removed. Justin Aldrich changed the whole world for one life. That of his wife. What an idiot. Ugh. Risking the whole world. A flute. It's lucky I went to music school when I was a child. The appropriate melody will calm down even a fearsome beast. Beast. Beast, 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 beast. Hmm. Oh, maybe it will calm down the uh, skeleton. Should we go play him a melody? See if he likes... Oh no, there's a snake, isn't it? Stupid me. I'm a snake tamer. Well, that made it easy. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, snake charmer. Yeah, that's what I meant, not snake tamer. Idiot. Oh my god, that's creepy. Can I take your wire cutters, madam? Should have called them bolt cutters, but that's just me being pedantic, so... Anything else here? Oh, hello. Oh god, you little fuck. <laughs> would you like a score? Oh, this is the goblin, isn't it? Hey, would you like a goblin? The creature must be the arboreal. I need his blood for performing the ritual. Knife him. Well, I'm trying. God, that little bastard scared me. Okay, so I need him to get out of the way so I can get those things. That's the rose we need. Horse head. In this world of closed doors and padlocks, finding a key is wonderful. Where did we see a horse? I am the unhappy and eternally cursed Justin Allridge. This is my diary and my confession. Having lost my reason due to the death of my beloved wife, I entered into an infernal agreement with a demon. At the time, it seemed perfectly natural to me. Only many years later did I understand how monstrous my deed was. In spite of my naive expectations, the rights for modifying the gates take centuries. Thus, the demon has prolonged my mortal life by turning me into a dreadful creature from beyond so that I can live up to the end of the bargain. Yet, when I have finally fulfilled my part of the agreement and see my beloved wife again, what life shall we be able to enjoy together in a world turning into a burning hell, step by step? Will she recognize me? I, who became a dreaded monster, and who will be guilty of all the world's future suffering? Will she love me as she did before? No. You silly man, don't trust demons, goddammit. Ooh, a screwdriver. We can use that, I think. I think we can? Yes. There we go. Okay, put it back. Can't take any of these. <clears throat> oh, there's the moon. That's part of the one we needed, and that's part of the amulet. Sweet. Yeah, goes there, doesn't it? There we go. Sweet. We're getting there. Okay, so we got part of the moon, which means we can go back in here and put it on there. What the heck is that? Is that a crossbow? And why can't I pick it up? What? What? That's a scorpion. Why can't I pick it up? Hang on, do we have to go out and get it? No. Hang on, what have I missed? So I can't pick it up yet, but it's right there! What do you want me to do? But that's where I was. What? Oh wait, you want me to go here? Okay, I can't get this because you won't let me. Okay, what does the hint say to do? Put it down! Pliers! Really? Oh, come on! Pliers over an axe on wood. Really? Stupid game. <laughs> I love this game, really, but jeez. 
Okay, so I couldn't pick up the crossbow because there wasn't an arrow in it. Of course, that makes total sense. Hiya! Shoot him. It's a bit cruel, but you know. Poor little guy. I would have kept him as a pet. And then if we collect a bowl full of blood. Poor little guy. What did he do to deserve that? And that is a potion for the rose. Does it lighten it up? Liven, lighten, makes it happy. That statue better not jump scare me. Can we pick it? Oh no, we need the glove, don't we? Thorns. We don't have a glove anymore. Oh. Well, can I just pick it? What? <laughs> what have I missed? Oh, the knife! I've got. I had the knife. Whoops, that's my bad. Okay, so we got all the stuff, I think. Or do we? But where do we need to use it again? Oh yeah, the pentagram. My brain is just not working at the moment. There we go, so we got a... Hello! Yay! I'm so happy! Yay! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, I fell down. Part of the amulet. In his head all along. Ooh, we're nearly there. Just have one more piece, isn't it? And now we can continue on with that. Um, yeah, this smoke was. Now it makes sense because it's like the yellow dragon dies and then the yellow smoke's gone. The red dragon. Da, 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 da. This is such a cool game. I know I complain and I act stupid, but it's so cool. The Earth Lord. Yeah. Which way was that again? I can't remember. That was this way, wasn't it? It was left. Oh, what's through here? Where is bloody Albert? How did he get this far? Oh. We need to help her. It's a kitty. Hello, kitty. Alright, fuck you then. Alright, do you want a mouse? Wait, is that a snake behind it? It's weird. No, not the boat. Uh, cut it with a knife. No? When you got three things left, it couldn't be much else. Clickety click, lickety split. Oh, hello. The fish man! Dat piranha dough. Fishy. Need a skeleton hand. Okay. Bloody hell, man. Oh, I didn't see that. Maybe I should put the navigation thing on this thing. Because that would help. Okay, so we need a heart there. This would help me so much in what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know whether that counts as a hint or what, but... Okay, these all have locks, so it must be further. Hello. You're missing stuff. Ew. Doesn't look very... Oh, there's a fishing rod. Oh, let's go get the fish. Actually, before we go, can we take that guy's sword and shield? Or Okay, he's missing items on the statue. His statue doesn't have everything. I got a fish. Oh, the kitty, the kitty, the kitty wants a fishy. That shall have a fishy. A snake head. A grapnel. Hmm. Oh, there we go, snake head. Oh lord. Oh. What the heck is this supposed to be? Okay, yeah. I, I need to understand what the puzzle is before I do it. Are the lines not meant to intersect? Oh, hang on, no, no, no. We did something. Oh, that we did it! Okay, I was right. <laughs> I'm not sure I did that, but yay! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh, we've got all different symbols, but we're missing one. Ew! Grapple it. What is that? Screwdriver. Knife. Have a knife, and I know how to can use it. 
screwdriver? Rubber? No. Hmm. Oh, we got a cog, a valve, does that go on here? Right, what else? Can we turn it? Oh, we can. Okay, so what does this do? Does this stop the machine? Pull some water? Pull some water. Honestly. I'm not quite sure what that did. Oh, hang on, we've got the statue here. Harp. Oh, 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 I think there was a, there was something with a harp, wasn't there? There we go, it was the, um, the angel, or whatever she's meant to be. Part of the clock face, and part of the amp... I'm not actually sure where that goes, though. Up here? Well, where else does it go? Oh, the bottom. Can't quite see it with the uh, UI. <laughs> My bad. Okay, does that go on here, then? Sweet, things are coming together. And that's the hand. What's this? I don't think that's meant to be anything. Right, there was a chest that needed a hand. Oh, another letter. My dear fiance, I awaited your reply for a long time, but my patience was in vain. Finally, lacking any word from you, I decided to leave Mr. Aldridge's estate. As soon as the steward learned of my decision, he doubled my fee, showing me the cash and assuring me that I would receive the entire sum as soon as I had signed the contract to restore the mysterious structure. It was a huge sum and will guarantee a comfortable life for not only us, but also for our children. This time, I could no longer refuse such an offer. Although my soul yearned to leave this dismal place for your embrace, your future husband. Albert. But why was he stopping our letters from going out? Unless he just didn't want the guy to leave. Dust to spray, the best weapon for fighting insects. Spider. Uh, spider over here? No. This way? None of you had a spider, did you? Well, let's go back to... There's a box that was covered in insects. I'm guessing that's what the bug spray is for. There we go, all the nasty critters are gone. And if we use the knife... I don't think you really need the bug spray, but okay. A diadem, diadem, statuette... Is that everything? Oh, the rope, okay. Oh, we made a grappling hook, of course we did. Right. Did you need the thing? I'm not sure what the spider's for, though. Haven't seen anything with a spider, or have I? Ooh, grappling hook in here? No. That would be kind of dumb, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. Key to a what? Oh, the shed. Can we open this? Let's just go here first and see. I'm waiting for something to pop out and scare me. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with myself, I haven't got that scared recently. Handle, a, a brush, anything else? You can't use a hint until I did nothing. I can't open that anyway, so unless that's, no, that's not the handle. Put it down then. Nope. Oh, there we go, a sail. Oh, are we gonna fix the boat? I wanna fix the boat, I wanna fix the boat. And a handle. No, handle isn't for this, apparently. Put it down! Oh my god, woman! Is there anything back here? Don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think everything's. I think you stay in the new areas now, but I'm not sure. Um. Oh, this guy had a spider. Oh, silly me. Medallion. Medallion for what? <laughs> what is this medallion for? Uh, surely there's something in there I can still use. 
Break it with this. Or this. Crowbar. Can we crowbar open the door? Knife it. No, okay, I guess we've got to open it with something else. Oh no, handle. I'm so stupid sometimes, aren't I? Okay. Tongs. Shield. Is that it? Yeah, it seems to be. Just want to be doubly sure. I hate walking off and realising I left something in the box. Because like I say, sometimes once you picked up everything, it'll like leave the area, but sometimes it doesn't. We'll use the blacksmith tongs in here. No. Oh, you still needed a medallion, didn't you? My bad. The door is locked, and I don't see a lock. Maybe there's some kind of secret mechanism. But didn't we fix everything? Hang on, what's this? Oh, statue? No. Brush. River mist. But oh, wait, the button? Okay, you're not letting me press the button, so... No. The... what? Oh my god. Okay, and what do you want me to do with this? I, I don't know. I re I've really actually lost all understanding of what to do. You want me to- oh wait, hang on, does the statue go in there then? Oh, my bad. Oh, there we go, we can use the tongs to get out the sword. So is that statue missing his sword? Yes, he is. Look, it's a broken hilt thing. There we go. Finally, we worked something out. Oh, hello. Your Albert isn't dead yet. He has just signed an agreement like all of us. Everyone you've seen here has made a deal with a demon. I'm not the only one. Okay then. I don't know whether to leave this here. Because I'm not sure how long the next bit's going to be. I think I'm going to just leave it because we've been playing for half an hour. So yeah, we're finally getting there. I think we're right near the end of the game. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like as it really helps me out. If you're not subscribed yet, you can mouse over the owl picture and hit subscribe. And if you want to check out some other stuff on my channel, don't forget to click on the thumbnails. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all wherever I play or talk about next. Bye-bye!